Great, okay, welcome everyone. My name is Matt Halleff. Um, I am one of the founders uh, and directors of a social enterprise called Reading Digital. And we are the uh, digital agency that developed the Cooperate smartphone app. So I'm here today to talk to you about that and how you can get the most out of it if you have a listing on there or if you'd like a listing in there. So, the app is simply called Cooperate. Um, do any of you have the app on your, on your phones yet? Okay, so we'll go through that step first. Um, so, basically, the app is available on lots of different devices. So it's available on <coughs> Apple iPhones, so all the way from the iPhone 3G all the way up to the iPhone 5, the new one. Um, it's available on iPod Touches, um, which are kind of like iPhones. It's available on iPads, and it's available on the vast majority of Android smartphones. Now, it's not yet available for BlackBerry, so if you've got a BlackBerry, bad luck. Um, but, uh, but if you have an Android or a, an Apple mobile device, you'll, you'll be able to, to use the app. Um, so, um, you can search for the app uh, on the App Store on your uh, iPad or iPhone. Just search for Cooperate. Um, should work with and without the dash, but it is called Cooperate with a dash. We have lots of arguments about that, so uh, as you can imagine. Um, so um, if you search for that, you should see it's completely free download. It's really small, so it should only take a few seconds to load onto your phone, and you're ready to go. If you're using um, an Android device of some kind, uh, an Android smartphone, then you can search Cooperate in the Google Play Store, and again, you'll find a, a similar listing um, and a similar result. <coughs> so feel free to fill with your phones and download that now. I won't think you're texting and get offended, don't worry. Uh, this is all about using my phone. So, once you've got the smartphone on your phone, you should see something um, a little like this, which is the Cooperate icon. The Cooperate icon is made of lots of little cards held up together to make the letter C. Just plan a little link with Cooperation there. Um, you tap on that, and the app launches. You see this little loading screen, and away we go. Now, the app gets updated quite regularly by Cooperative UK. Um, so you'll see different stories uh, in this at the top, which we like to call the carousel, um, partly because that makes it sound fun. Um, so uh, you can see different stories uh, that are on there. So there's quite a few stories about this expo today and about what you can get out of the different exhibits. So that's quite good. That allows us to promote you know, stories that are of interest uh, in, in the cooperative space, particularly as they relate to consumers. Uh, because this is more of a consumer-facing app than something that's, that's just for the co-op community. Um, the main functions of the app you can find on this screen. Um, so if we tap on the Find a Co-op button, we will get a pop-up that asks whether it's okay for uh, the phone to tell cooperate our location. Now the really cool thing about that is that that means we can show people the co-ops that are near to them so instead of having to look through this massive listing to see if there's anything nearby, we just say, hey, here's the nearest 10 places to you. It makes it really easy to find a co and choose to shop there. So we'll hit allow on that button, and away we go. We can see that there's different categories to the app, so you can choose a category that's relevant to what you're looking to buy at the moment. I'm just gonna pick on the eat and drink category there. And tapping on that gives me a listing, um, and it simply gives me a listing of all the eat and drink co-ops that are near where I'm stood right now. It tells me how far away I am from those co-ops. If you load it in Manchester, you'll see you're like meters away from dozens of different co-ops where we are right now, which is great to see. Um, and you can see that we have a, a rotator at the top of topical stories about that category. So just scroll down the listing and see all the nice results, and we'll choose one. So this really, if you're a, if you're a co-op, this is your kind of place in the app. It's your directory listing, okay? So uh, this is uh, what you need to be concerned about. If you primarily want to get the most out of the app, you'll be interested to see whether the details on this screen are correct. Have we got the correct address for you? Have we got the correct email address and phone number? Um, and also, because we've only recently launched the app, we've not got many pictures, and pictures make a massive difference to how accessible your co-op appears on there. Um, and it's great to have a picture of you know, the inside of the shop, or some of the produce, or some of your workers, just to provide a kind of nice, friendly face, and to provide that kind of insight into what people might expect when they interact with that co-op. Um, we'll just scroll down the listing, so 
Now you'll notice that um, we can check into a car, and this is one of the really interesting features about this app uh, that just takes it beyond being you know, just a simple directory app. Uh, by checking into a place, you can tell the app that you've visited that <coughs> car, so you might have shopped there, you might have just visited to have a look around. And those of you that are using the app will notice that this expo is actually in the app as a place that you can check into. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a sec. So I just scroll down the list. You can see that we've got phone number, email address, and you can also report incorrect details. So if you go on your co-op listing and you think, oh, this is all wrong, where have you got this information from? Hit on that report incorrect details link and it will pop up an email and you can just type what the, the problem is and we'll get it corrected. Um, there's uh, around about 10,000 entries in this app, so you can see how you know maybe a few little errors might slip in. So um, what we're doing there is helping the people that use the app help us to make sure all the listings are, are accurate. Okay, so I just go back. I'm going to choose one of these stories now. Now these stories are a great way to really promote your co-op in the app because these stories aren't sensitive to where the user stood. The user has to be stood quite near to your co-op in order to see your listing primarily. But with these stories, they're just kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, you know, blog pieces or news pieces, um, and they can talk about the kind of the real stories behind the co-op. And their role is to really kind of sell the difference why it's good to choose co-op. So showcase the passions of people behind these co-ops and, and talk a little bit about the kind of stories behind them. So you can provide one of these stories to us and we can feature your co-op in the app and give it a really prominent position either on the home page or in that rotator uh, there at the top of that listing. So that's a really good thing for you to do. Um, the stories that you provide should be quite short because obviously people aren't going to sort of sit there on their phone and read really long pieces. So, you know, five paragraphs probably tops Nice short story, good picture, ideally featuring people smiling, showing some of the produce, you know, showing the difference that you're making. And we can also link that story to your co-op. So when people have read that story and they're really sold on the values behind your organisation, they can see where you are, get your contact details, jump through to your website, etc. So we'll click on Unicorn, which is a local co-op so you might be familiar with. Um, and the app features mapping. So uh, on the Google Androids, it features Google Maps. On Apple devices, it features the Apple Maps. And you can get directions to and see where that co-op is in relation to you. Again, that position of the co-op is something that you might want to check, just to check that we've correctly translated your address. Put the pin in the right place for your store or your office. Scroll down. Now, Remember before when I said that you could check into co-ops, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what that's all about. So basically, every time someone checks into a co-op, that scores a point. Now with every other app on uh, smartphones, the purpose of scoring points is to compete with people and to try and get to the top of the table. And in some things like Foursquare, you can compete with people for money off places and stuff like that. But we thought, well, actually, shouldn't we reward people for cooperating instead of competing with each other? And that would really give kind of like a practical demonstration of what's great about the cooperative movement. So instead of you scoring points for yourself, you score them for everyone. So by um, checking in, and this is the actual challenge that we've got going on now. So if you've got the app, you can sort of follow along with me here. Um, we're after 150 people using the app to check in to this venue. And if we reach the target or exceed the target, everyone that's checked in will get free chocolates from the Divine Chocolate Stand um, in the Expo. So that's got an incentive, free chocolate. It's probably the best that we've had. Um, so the idea here is that by cooperating with each other to meet the target, everyone wins. Um, <coughs> and so we're giving them that practical experience of cooperation. Just scroll down here. Now, with the challenge that we've got going on at the moment, the reward is free chocolate. With other challenges, obviously that's not going to work because people can't get on a train to Manchester to come here just to collect the free chocolates every week. Okay? So what we're interested in getting from co-ops is rewards. And this is another brilliant way to get exposure in the app and also to drive more customers to your outlet. So I'm just going to uh, tap on the rewards here. Here's some example rewards. Now we can put these rewards in. There's approximately one challenge every month and quite often the challenges are themed. So we could have a challenge to go out and buy uh, ingredients to cook a meal completely from ingredients from co-ops. We could have something to, uh, to go out and you know, get a new outfit for winter or whatever by just shopping at co-op. And we can put these challenges up there. And what we're trying to do 
is we're trying to change people's behaviour by nudging them to choose cooperative instead of uh, regular business. So um, these rewards act as an incentive for us to do that. And we know for a fact from the challenges that we've run before, people will actually seek out uh, the organisations that have rewards in, in order to spend their voucher or to get their freebie. Now, um, one example of a voucher that we've got coming up for the next challenge is £2 off for every £20 you spend at any co-op food outlet, which is going to be a great incentive for <coughs> many people have a branch of co-op food right near where they are. Um, this also works particularly well if you've got an online shop, because we can put your online voucher codes in there. Or it could work well to, you know, if you've got a single outlet locally, we can, we can provide that to local people. So, we'll just kind of move forward into the future when we complete this challenge. So we've got 167 people that have completed this challenge, and now the rewards are unlocked. People are going to get a message that comes up on their phone, which is called a push notification. So you don't have to have the app running, it's kind of like getting a text message to say, well, hey, we've completed the challenge. We tap on the rewards unlocked, and you can see where they were all locked, they are now unlocked. And we can <coughs> access our reward. Half price on selected lines, not sure that's so ethical to give people lots of money off alcohol, but there you go, it's just an example. Uh, we can tap redeem code, uh, and, and you can get a code there. We can also insert a link to a page on your website uh, that has like a PDF voucher to download or some further information about how to claim a reward. So it really is quite flexible. Sometimes people are just giving us money off, they're giving their customers anyway. So they might have something where, I don't know, you get 10% off your second purchase. Some people are just giving us that same voucher that they're geared up to deal with anyway, bugging that in the app and they're getting a few more customers when the challenge is completed and getting some exposure for their organisation through the app. Um, we also show where you can actually redeem that. So that helps them seek out. So how do you get your listing into the app? Well. Um, this app was uh, developed by Cooperatives UK in partnership with us. So you go to the Cooperatives UK website and you can click on the link at the top there that reads directory. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that now. And this gives you the online directory which kind of feeds all the data into the app. So you can browse and search this directory and see all of the information that's in the app from a desktop computer. I'm just going to show you that. So um, let's have a look at one of the, uh, one of the map views here. So you can see we can also present all of those directory listings on a map, so you can you know, see what the geographic spread of different co-ops is, and zoom in and have a look. So really what you need to do to get to the app is you need to get your organization onto this online listing, and then uh, in a matter of days, your listing will get sucked down into the app, uh, and the app updates automatically, magically over the air. Um, so we'll go back to the list view, and we'll take a look at what an example listing looks like, and then I'll show you how to get a listing in. Okay, so we've got 14 in the gallery there. And you can see that will be the description that appears in the app. That will be the map that appears in the app. The contact details at the bottom there will be the ones that were appearing in the app. You can see that's where they're based. So, say you want to get into this directory. All you have to do is register on the co op, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Cooperatives UK site. So, I've just clicked on the register link on this website. You see there's a little form to fill in there, and you can get an account on the site and set up your co op. Um, Depending on your exact constitution, COPS UK may need to get in touch with you just to check that you are actually a cooperative. And once that approval process has taken place, your, uh, your business listing will go onto the directory website and onto all of the apps on iPad, iPhone, and Android, and any other platforms that you want. Um, obviously, um, you know, it's not like a, a faceless process where you just need to register and then you know, hope that you get in. Uh, there are some email addresses and stuff that I can give you. So, um, if you go to www.co-operate.coop, you can find out more details about the app, and there's contact details there, and there's uh, links off to the uh, to the Android store and the Apple store. And if you need any help with your listing, if you want to jazz it up with an image, if you want to report an incorrect detail, if you want to uh, ask a question, then you can just email listings at uk.coop, and someone will be back in touch with you um, about that. Um, one really exciting thing um, about this project as well is that uh, Cooperative UK have kindly licensed the app so that other, um, other cooperative bodies around the world can use this as a basis to develop their own. And um, a few weeks ago we launched uh, the, a version of Cooperate in the US, it's called Cooperate USA. We had to change the logo to put a little USA on and it had to be in red, white and blue obviously. 
Um, so we've changed that, we've changed all the kilometers to miles and all of those little things that we need to change. And that's now got tens of thousands of US co-ops in and thousands of people in the US are using this app now to, to access the same kind of thing. <coughs> features. So I think that's a real great example of kind of international cooperation in 2012, the International Year of the Co-ops. And uh, we're working with um, some other organizations to roll this out to other countries as well. So if you're interested in using this kind of basic um, app as a way to get your own app uh, for, for your own country, or perhaps you know, if you have a kind of chain of co-op stores, uh, then you know, come and chat to me at the end and we can talk about that, because Co-ops UK are allowing you to license that code absolutely free in order to do that, which is uh, fantastic and generous. So um, that is a whistle-stop tour of the app. I wanted to leave plenty of time both for you to try and download the app onto your devices, and to check into the challenge so you can help me get some free chocolate. Um, and I also wanted to leave some time uh, for some questions.